how does it feel to win these two ball games? And you had to do it by playing D on the final possession, 83-82 the win over Akron, and 76-73 the win over Eastern Michigan. Feels like it should feel. It's, it, it's, it feels right. And, uh, you know, our guys put in a lot of hard work, and it hasn't always come easy for them. But, again, to, to get payoff of wins at home, uh, I know it makes everybody's job uh, a little easier the next day going in and, and getting back the grind, getting ready for the next one. Uh, I just want to keep it going now. Let's just let's just keep winning. Coming up next is Central Michigan tomorrow night. We thank Coach for allowing a show on the night before the game, and it's rare that we've had these, but uh, uh, we've got a game tomorrow night on the air at 6.30 for a tip at 7 o'clock. Central Michigan comes to town. You'll remember, Ohio uh, lost to CMU recently, 74-69. Played very hard the second half. It will be interesting to see Ohio against CMU coming up tomorrow night. The interaction between you and Bean, um, yet you mentioned that, that you and him had, had a good talk and a good uh, – communication and i think you guys are certainly understanding each other and it's all leading to him having good success on the floor but that interaction that you've had recently i think has probably helped no i think i think with all of us the further along we get on this uh the better they get to know me and understand where i'm coming from and the better i get to know them and understand where their strengths and weaknesses lie you know i wish we could have taken a crash course and, and gone through this quicker but that's not how human relationships work and uh, the further you get along, I, I mean, I, I said things to guys a couple weeks ago that maybe they didn't weren't clear on what I wanted. Where you know those things start to go away with time, you, you start to get more and more comfortable. And uh, Bean is no exception, but it isn't just Bean. I mean, our guys have a better understanding of what it is we want. I've got a better understanding of how I can better utilize them, and that. Uh, there's no better example than our zone offense against Eastern Michigan a week and a half ago as opposed to the other night. It was night and day. Uh, we tried executing basically the same stuff, but we just did it much better. Uh, our guys got it more, and that's a credit to them for listening and putting up with us coaches, and uh, they did a great job of absor- absorbing a game plan and turning around a, a game by – 39 points, I guess, is basically what it amounts to. These games, you, you've had to hold on at the end there. You've scored enough. Um, evaluate where you're at defensively now. Are you pleased? Are you not happy? Uh, you know, we've played some pretty good offensive teams recently in the games that we've given up a lot of points. And for so long, it was a struggle for us early this season. Our defense kind of tied at us over early in the season, and it seems like uh, – we shift our, shifted our attention to how we can score a little bit more and you'd slide back a little bit on the defensive end, but eventually you want to get them both going at the same time. And uh, right now, at this particular moment in time, our offense is, is really, really clicking. We worked awfully hard on our defense uh, before the, the Central Michigan game, uh, particularly the screen and roll defense, which we'll see a lot of. Our energy was good. Uh, our effort was good. Now we've got to execute it against a very good offensive team. So, no, I mean, I, you're asking, you're, if you're asking if I'm satisfied with where we're at with anything, you, you're never satisfied. As, as soon as you think you're there, something else is going to pop up. So you're always trying to look ahead and figure out what it is you can fix. Uh, when our energy level is good, I'm okay with things. Uh, we'll win enough games when our energy level is good. And our energy level has been very, very good the last couple times out. In the first half against the Chippewas, they had open looks. They just missed some of the shots. You got back into the ball game by guarding those three-point shooters better. What was the difference in that next 20 minutes as opposed to the first? And that's going to be a key tomorrow night. I, I think just better recovery overall, all over the court. More awareness. Again, hands outside body. Uh, and not letting them get downhill by with their screen and roll, meaning... If you've got their guard going east and west instead of north and south, uh, that's a positive. It, it, it makes passing lanes uh, easier to defend. It makes recovery time quicker. But, again, you, you see a team turning their shoulder and getting down that lane line too often. You've got troubles defensively. Thanks for the visit, as always. We'll visit in pregame coming up on Wednesday. Uh, sorry, tomorrow night. If it's Wednesday night, I'll be late and probably fired. So we'll be on the air tomorrow night at 630 for a tip at 7 o'clock. Thank you, Saul. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you.